Hello, Tanya. Hello, Gagan. How are you? I'm very good. Very good. I'm excited about something I read recently. Okay. So, uh, one of the lowest on an insured five-year fixed, I think on Rate Hub was 4.29%. Yeah. Is that accurate? Um, it is. There's some like catch catches with that. It's a little bit of like a, more of a no-frills type of mortgage. But uh, the interest rates are definitely just trending in that direction. Um, and I would say a more of a favorable five-year fixed with a similar type product would be in the 4.69, maybe the 4.59 range. Right. Yeah. So the exciting news uh, or the exciting uh, stories that we're listening to out there is that we're going to have a steady decline in rates over the next couple of months, especially by end of this year. So they say every time there's a rate announcement, and I think there are about uh, three rate announcements till the end of the year. Correct. So at least a 0.25. What are your thoughts on that? So I think like the last time you and I discussed, we were more forecasting right. about a 100 bit de decrease from right. the original uh, uh, interest rate decrease back in June. Now it seems like there's an additional forecast. So uh, there will be a total of 1.25 in the Bank of Canada prime rates. Uh, but more interesting than that, I would say, is the direction of the bond yields and what that impact that will have on fixed rates. So um, I think as far as the outlook of interest rates, short-term rates look like they're gonna start to catch up with the long-term rates, and you're gonna see overall a lower uh, kind of interest rate market going forward. Right. So, so let me ask you this question. Uh, if, and probably someone out there right now is shopping for a home, mm -hmm. right? I always get the question that, okay, Tanya, is it the right time to be in, uh, buy now? Uh, is this the bottom line of it? Or, you know, should we wait further? Right? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I know, f I, I definitely, and I think we chatted about this earlier. Uh, what I see is, is that there is definitely going to be a decrease in the mortgage rates. Right. However, I do feel the price points have kind of stabilized. Right. Uh, yeah, that's actually a good question. That's a question actually I was going to ask. I think I was going to ask of you. But uh, in terms of the interest rate side of that question, I believe that uh, if it's in budget, um, the shorter term rates are definitely a better kind of value in terms right. of renegotiating the mortgage, having the opportunity to renegotiate uh, the mortgage uh, at a sooner, uh, sooner point. Right. Um, and or the variable where you just kind of fluctuate with the market. Now, um, I guess my question to the, my follow up question to that is, um, do you feel like it's a good time to get into the market based on uh, the current values? Like, do you see do you see the property values in line with potentially the interest rates going down? Do you see property values going up or do you see them kind of stabilizing? And uh, like, what do you see on that side? Okay, so I always look at things from an uh, opportunist point of view, right? Sure. It is my job to look for deals for my clients, to look at those opportunities. Well, since we're shooting this in August, this tends to be a slower month because a lot of people are away uh, on holiday, agents as well as potential buyers. So, so from a buying perspective, I do think it's a great month and to get some amazing opportunities. In terms of price point, I do think we're stabilized, stabilizing. However, that being said, there are opportunities in every market. There are a lot of homes out there on the market where a seller is actually looking for an exit. And depending on the activity and the urgency of it, you know, we can land up negotiating great terms, you know, for probably both sides of it. But from a buyer's perspective, I think he'd be in the win-win. So... Okay. I do think in terms of price point, you know, we may see some good opportunities, but I do see it going up, especially if the interest rates, you know, start to, uh, we start to see that uh, decline happening. So there's more buyer confidence within the market and you're still buying a home in today's market cheaper than you would have got it last year. I believe right? I mean, that's what we're seeing. We're definitely seeing prices uh definitely uh, even lower than appraised values for the most right. part. So uh, like kind of for the first time, um, what we're seeing that we haven't seen in I would say the last year and a half right. is uh, in this case now appraisals are coming in higher than 
the the home values that are, that are being purchased. That's interesting because I yeah. just had this conversation with a client yesterday and, uh, you know, I was explaining to them how about when you get a pre-approval, as you know that, that's the not be all and end all of it. Of you still kind of go to go through that process and your appraisal is actually your final uh, test of, you know, what your the lender is actually going to give you for the house. Uh, and I did say, and, and I did mention that as well, saying that, you know, fairly confident depending on what we secure it at you know it will appraise you know but that's good to know yeah and that's great absolutely that's a great indicator of uh potentially the market starting to rebound um because like i said we haven't seen that in a year i would say at least a year and a half maybe even going on two years uh so now that we're starting to see that it's just kind of a shift in the market that we haven't seen right uh for the for the last, like, last little while Okay, so last question. Sure. I know in our uh, first video that we pushed out, I was confident about the 0.25. Are you ready to commit with me uh, about that today? Yeah, definitely. For September? Definitely 0.25. I would say, well, it's, yeah, I would say 0.25 in December. I could also see the U.S. Federal Reserve potentially right. lowering uh, in, in September as well. So, so do you suspect? Because that was your popular word. Yes, I suspect. <laughs> last, Definitely 0.25. Last conversation. And I think based on some of the information I've been right. reading as well, um, and some of my sources, I believe you could see a potentially a 0.25 cut in every single meeting, uh, in the remaining meetings for the rest of the year as well. So uh, definitely uh, trending that way. However, things can change. Uh, but I, yeah. I suspect the trends are looking in that direction. Okay, fantastic. Yeah.